Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Kevin here at Marywood University. And today I'm going to show you about this program that we're using called Tegrity. And what Tegrity is essentially is a screen capture program. Uh, what do I mean by screen capture? Well, what I'm doing right now is a screen capture. You're, you're seeing everything I'm doing on the screen. And uh, I have a mic hooked up, so I'm talking over it at the same time. So it's pretty much um, I'm demonstrating to you what I'm doing. Uh, and you can see it, you know, as I'm doing it. What you can use this for is uh, you can record your classes. You can hook yourself up to a mic and record as you're doing your class. Or if you're going on vacation a couple days as a professor, you can record your classes ahead of time. And then um, the thing about Tegrity is when you get done recording, it automatically posts it to Moodle. And then your students can have access to it and view it. They can uh, do it into iTunes, um, they can put it on their iPod, and watch their class that way. If you have a snow day, if you can't make it some night, you know, something else is going on, you can still have class, essentially. <laughs> Record your class and your students can watch it. So, I'll show you how you use it. First, just log into Moodle here. I'm going to turn our editing on, and if we scroll down under blocks right here, we click on this, so we can go down to Tegrity. Okay, scroll down one more time. This is my course. I'm going to click on that. And this is about opening in a, a new window. So if for some reason you can't get Tegrity to open, um, under Tools, if you're using Mozilla, Options, and Tab. Where is it here? Give me a second. Uh, Okay, security, you can make an, I think this is an exception. Oh, sorry, right here, content, um, block pop-up windows. This is going to, I have it turned on, so it's going to block them. You can hit exceptions and type the site in here, the site. But uh, if I click on this, it's going to work, so I don't need to do that. So if for some reason it doesn't do, it doesn't work, you can go in there and turn that off. Uh, this is just going to give you some things, what's new, or blah blah. I don't, you know, this isn't important. You can just close out of this. Okay, what we're seeing here is all the past times that I've done recordings, and they'll automatically come up here, and you can view them. Like here's a couple I did this day. We were just testing it out. Here's one earlier today. Um, so what I'm going to do to start a new recording, we're going to click right here, record a new record a class. You want to make sure your mic's hooked up and you can see your audio level. And if you want to change anything else, if you want to, here's the title. You can just leave it as the date, or you can type in. Um, like that. You can select what course you want it under. These are my courses. I'm just going to leave it on this one. And record a class. If you, or, uh, if you want picture, settings, if your audio is not working, there's a tutorial itself. I'm just going to go and we're going to record the class. Okay, so it's going to come down here and you'll see that. Don't worry about the screen going black. Okay, now it's working. You can see my audio down here and this dot means it's recording and if you want to pause it and then continue if you want to stop it these are some more options I'll show you so anyways here's the pet let's say I'm uh, out sick for the class I'm gonna go on vacation uh, I'm gonna make a PowerPoint with all my stuff here's the PowerPoint talking over it talking about the material we click down here this is once again our integrity Here's our audio levels. Here's it's recording. The pause. If we click this, it's going to give you some more tools, right? This is a marker tool. This is a square tool, a uh, circle, and a line. And then here is how big it's going to be and the color. So, blue marker. Okay, guys. And then it go, you can go like this from within PowerPoint. Da 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 da. See how this is? 
Now, if that wasn't on there, do you see how I made it this before? You can make the same thing. Talk over it. Um, this is going to be our eraser. Watch this. Boom. 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 Erase all. Let's say we have this. This is our lasso tool if we only want to select this much. Oops, why didn't that go? There it goes. Erase it. Different colors. Different thicknesses. And uh, the whiteboard. If you want to make notes. Switch back. So essentially, this is what it's used for making your notes, talking over them, doing your lesson. We're just going to get to the end of this. I don't want to keep you guys here all day. And we'll stop it there. Okay, let's upload. Hold on. I was recording. I think it just got done. Okay, yeah. Okay, Daniel. Okay, and... Go back into integrity. Now it should come up here. You'll see it. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to close out of this. And we're going to go back in to our Moodle. Now I'm going to switch the role to a student. We're going to click on that integrity. Open it once again. And look. Now it's going to take a little bit to upload. Well, this is one I did earlier. And we'll just do a little bit here. And here it is. My tutorial. So the this is what the students would be seeing. Easy as that. Okay guys, gonna close out of this. And I'm gonna go back one more time. Nope, still got to wait a little bit more. Look at input to a podcast, to iTunes, or Facebook. This is, looks like a phone, iPhone. And all you have to do is publish it like this. You can just go through, you'll figure it out. And your students can watch it that way. Download it right to their iPod, their iPhone. Alright guys, well that's it for now. And this is going to take a little bit to become available, so uh, you just want to check back another hour or two hours after you do your recording, and that should be it. And that's integrity.